Question 1. Which is the most common reason for traffic crashes? A. Road conditions. B. Equipment failure. C. Human errors. Answer. C. Human errors. Most crashes are due to driver errors, such as not following road rules or being distracted. Question 2. When you reach a pedestrian crosswalk while driving. A. Honk to alert the pedestrian. B. Drive on. Pedestrians should wait for you. C. Stop and yield the right of way if a pedestrian is in or about to enter the crosswalk. Answer. C. Stop and yield the right of way if a pedestrian is in or about to enter the crosswalk. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks. Question 3. At intersections, before turning right, you should A. Stop and look for oncoming traffic. B. Signal and look for bicyclists coming from the opposite direction. C. Always force your way through. Answer. B. Signal and look for bicyclists coming from the opposite direction. Bicyclists can be easily overlooked, so it's important to watch out for them. Question 4. To avoid tailgating, one should follow the A. 3-second rule B. 10-second rule C. 1-second rule Answer. A. 3-second rule This rule ensures you have enough stopping distance between your car and the vehicle in front. Question 5. When should you use your car's signals? A. Only when other vehicles are around. B. Whenever you plan to change direction. C. Only during the day. Answer. B. Whenever you plan to change direction. Signaling warns other road users of your intentions. Question 6. When parking uphill with no curb, set the parking brake and A. Turn your wheels towards the edge of the road. B. Leave your wheels straight ahead. C. Turn your wheels away from the edge of the road. Answer. A. Turn your wheels towards the edge of the road. This ensures your vehicle doesn't roll into traffic if it starts to move. Question 7. True or false? It's permitted to drive with just your parking lights on, in fog, rain, or twilight. Answer. False. Parking lights don't provide enough visibility for safe driving in these conditions. Question 8. Before backing up your vehicle, you should A. Rely solely on your mirrors. B. Turn your head and look through the rear window. C. Sound your horn to warn others. Answer. B. Turn your head and look through the rear window. This provides a clear view of any obstacles or individuals behind you. Question 9. If you encounter an aggressive driver, you should A. Challenge them. B. Stay away and avoid eye contact. C. Speed up and try to outdrive them. Answer. B. Stay away and avoid eye contact. It's safest to not engage or provoke an aggressive driver. Question 10. To prepare for anything coming up in the road ahead, you should A. Continuously scan the entire road and roadsides. B. Drive with your left foot resting lightly on the brake pedal. C. Stare straight ahead at all times. Answer. A. Continuously scan the entire road and roadsides. Being observant helps you react in time to potential hazards. Question 11. California's move over law requires A. Keeping one hand on the wheel at all times. B. Slowing down and moving over safely when seeing emergency vehicles on the side of the highway. C. Shifting to neutral at red traffic lights. Answer. B. Slowing down and moving over safely when seeing emergency vehicles on the side of the highway. This protects emergency workers attending to roadside incidents. Question 12. True or false? California law mandates that all vehicles carry insurance. Answer. True. All vehicles operated or parked on California roads must have liability insurance. Question 13. When you see a school zone sign, you should A. Expect no pedestrians and continue at your current speed. B. 
Look for children and be ready to stop. C. Assume children are trained to cross only at corners. Answer. B. Look for children and be ready to stop. Children may behave unpredictably, and their safety is paramount. Question 14. When driving in a lane set aside for carpool, HOV, use you? A. May use this lane no matter how many people are in your vehicle. B. Must ensure that you carry the minimum number of persons shown on the sign. C. Can use this lane for faster overtaking. Answer. B. Must ensure that you carry the minimum number of persons shown on the sign. HOV lanes are intended to reduce traffic congestion by promoting carpooling. Question 15. If your driving record accumulates three DUIs in a period of seven years, the result is A. Mandatory attendance in a driving school. B. Temporary suspension of your driver's license. C. Revocation of your driving license. Answer. C. Revocation of your driving license. Multiple DUIs show a reckless disregard for road safety. Question 16. If another driver cuts you off in traffic, you should A. Return the favor by cutting them off as well. B. Ignore the action and continue driving safely. C. Flash your vehicle's lights repeatedly. Answer. B. Ignore the action and continue driving safely. Retaliating can escalate the situation and increase the risk of an accident. Question 17. If an oncoming vehicle doesn't turn off their high beams, you should A. Flash your high beams quickly B. Look towards the right edge of your lane C. Try to retaliate by keeping your high beams on Answer B. Look towards the right edge of your lane This prevents being blinded by the oncoming vehicle's lights Question 18 at an uncontrolled intersection where you can't see cross traffic until you are just about to enter the intersection, the speed limit is A. 15 miles per hour B. 25 miles per hour C. 35 miles per hour Answer. A. 15 miles per hour. Slow speeds are crucial for reaction time in areas with limited visibility. Question 19. True or false? Pedestrians using guide dogs or white canes must be given the right of way at all times. Answer. True. These pedestrians are blind or visually impaired, and drivers must yield to ensure their safety. Question 20. If you are involved in an accident causing injury or death, you must report it within blank days to the DMV. A. 10 days. B. 15 days. C. 20 days. Answer. A. 10 days. Prompt reporting helps in the investigation and documentation of road accidents. Question 21. When can you cross a solid double yellow line to pass another vehicle? A. Whenever you feel it's safe. B. When you're in a carpool lane. C. When turning left into a driveway. Answer. C. When turning left into a driveway. Solid lines indicate areas where passing is not allowed, but they can be crossed for turns. Question 22. When a traffic signal light turns green, you should A. Accelerate as quickly as possible. B. Pass any vehicle remaining in the intersection. C. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and vehicles still in the intersection. Answer. C. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and vehicles still in the intersection. It's important to ensure the intersection is clear before proceeding. Question 23. You must look over your right shoulder when you A. Pull to the right side of the road. B. Turn right. C. Park your vehicle. Answer. B. Turn right. Checking your shoulder helps you ensure there's no traffic in your blind spot. Question 24. A safety zone is A. A space set aside for pedestrians B. An empty lane in between the opposite flow of traffic C. A buffer zone for aggressive drivers 
Answer A. A space set aside for pedestrians. Safety zones are often near tram or bus stops and offer pedestrians protection from traffic. Question 25. When driving near road construction zones, you should A. Slow down to watch the workers. B. Decrease your following distance. C. Pass the zone carefully and not follow other vehicles too closely. Answer C. Pass the zone carefully and not follow other vehicles too closely. Construction zones are often unpredictable, and slowing down and maintaining a safe following distance reduces the risk of accidents. Question 26. True or false? Using drugs prescribed by a doctor is acceptable before driving as long as they don't affect your driving ability. Answer. True. However, it's crucial to be sure that they don't impair your driving ability. Question 27. A flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection means A. You must stop and wait for it to turn green. B. Slow down and be alert. C. Proceed with caution, but you have the right of way. Answer. B. Slow down and be alert. Flashing yellow indicates potential hazards. Question 28. When planning to turn left at an intersection and you are waiting in the middle of the intersection for the traffic to clear, your front tires should be turned. A. To the left. B. Straight ahead. C. To the right. Answer. B. Straight ahead. This prevents being pushed into oncoming traffic if hit from behind. Question 29. It is illegal to park your vehicle. A. Next to a red painted curb. B. In an unmarked crosswalk. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Both situations can obstruct traffic or pose dangers to pedestrians. Question 30. True or false. Children under 8 years old must be secured in a car seat in the back seat. Answer. True. This ensures the safety of young children while traveling in a vehicle. Question 31. If you are driving slower than the rest of the traffic on a freeway, you should drive. A. In the middle lane. B. In the fast lane. C. In the right lane. Answer. C. In the right lane. This allows faster moving traffic to pass on the left. Question 32. If you approach an intersection with a red light, but a police officer directs you to go through, you should A. Wait for the light to turn green. B. Follow the officer's instructions. C. Stop and ask the officer for clarification. Answer B. Follow the officer's instructions. At times, officers may need to direct traffic differently than traffic signals or signs indicate. Question 33. True or false? It's illegal to smoke inside a vehicle with children under 18 years old. Answer. True. This rule protects children from secondhand smoke exposure. Question 34. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, the first thing you should do is A. Brake hard and steer straight. B. Ease off the gas pedal and steer straight. C. Turn off the engine. Answer. B. Ease off the gas pedal and steer straight. Sudden maneuvers or braking can exacerbate the skidding. Question 35. When can a child legally ride in the front seat of a vehicle with an active passenger airbag? A. If they are over 12 years of age. B. If they are over 9 years of age. C. If they are over 6 years of age. Answer. A. If they are over 12 years of age, children under 12 are at risk of injury from airbags. Question 36. When a pedestrian with a white cane or a guide dog is waiting to cross at a corner, you should A. Sound your horn to alert them of your presence. B. Drive cautiously past them. C. Stop at the crosswalk and give the pedestrian the right of way. Answer. C. Stop at the crosswalk and give the pedestrian the right of way. The white cane and guide dog indicate the pedestrian is blind or visually impaired. Question 37. 
you see a flashing yellow signal at an intersection. You should A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Stop before crossing the intersection. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Answer. C. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Flashing yellow indicates caution. Question 38. When driving at night on a dimly lit street, you should A. Drive slowly so you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. B. Turn on your high beam headlights to better see the vehicles ahead. C. Keep your instrument panel lights bright to be more visible to other drivers. Answer. A. Drive slowly so you can stop within the area illuminated by your headlights. This ensures safe driving in low visibility conditions. Question 39. If a driver looks like he or she is going to pull out in front of you, the safest thing to do it is A. Honk your horn and accelerate. B. Flash your headlights and continue driving. C. Slow or stop your car and be prepared to brake. Answer. C. Slow or stop your car and be prepared to brake. Anticipating potential dangers allows for a safer reaction. Question 40. If your car starts to skid, you should A. Brake immediately. B. Turn in the opposite direction of the skid. C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Answer. C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. This helps regain control of the vehicle. Question 41. You are approaching a sharp curve in the road. You should A. Start braking as you enter the curve. B. Brake hard before entering the curve. C. Slow your car before you enter the curve. Answer. C. Slow your car before you enter the curve. It's safer to approach curves at reduced speeds. Question 42. True or false? You should adjust your rear view and side mirrors. Answer. True. Properly adjusted mirrors minimize blind spots and enhance safety. Question 43. If you want to pass a bicyclist in a narrow traffic lane when an oncoming vehicle is approaching, A. Wait until the vehicle has passed then pass the bicyclist. B. Slow and pass the bicyclist without leaving the lane. C. Honk at the bicyclist to make them move over. Answer. A. Wait until the vehicle has passed then pass the bicyclist. Safety should always come first. Question 44. To safely turn right on a red light, you must A. Stop only if pedestrians are waiting to cross. B. Signal and turn immediately. C. Stop, check for traffic and pedestrians, then proceed when safe. Answer. C. Stop, check for traffic and pedestrians, then proceed when safe. This ensures all road users' safety. Question 45. When sharing the road with a trolley or light rail vehicle. A. Always pass them on the right. B. Remember they often share the road and have the same rights and responsibilities. C. Never make a right turn in front of them. Answer. B. Remember they often share the road and have the same rights and responsibilities. Respecting all vehicles ensures road safety. Question 46. When driving in fog, snow, or rain, you should use your A. High beam headlights B. Parking lights C. Low beam headlights Answer. C. Low beam headlights Low beams provide adequate visibility without reflecting back as much glare as high beams. Question 47. If you see livestock near the roadway, you should A. Sound your horn to make them move B. Follow directions from the person in charge of the animals. C. Pass them as quickly as possible. Answer. B. Follow directions from the person in charge of the animals. They are best equipped to manage the animal's movement. Question 48. If a road is slippery, maintain a following distance that is. A. The same as on dry roads. B. Shorter than on dry roads. 
C. Longer than on dry roads. Answer. C. Longer than on dry roads. A longer following distance provides more time to react. Question 49. When a green arrow turns into a green light, you A. Must wait for the next green arrow before turning. B. May still turn but yield to oncoming traffic. C. Have the right of way and should continue turning. Answer. B. May still turn but yield to oncoming traffic. A solid green light allows turns but requires yielding when necessary. Question 50. If you plan to turn beyond an intersection, you should A. Signal just after you pass through the intersection. B. Signal before you pass through the intersection. C. Not signal at all to avoid confusion. Answer. A. Signal just after you pass through the intersection. Signaling too early can be misleading to other drivers. Question 51. Which statement about blind spots is true? A. They are eliminated if you have one outside mirror on each side of the vehicle. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. C. Blind spots can be checked by looking in your rearview mirrors. Answer. B. Large trucks have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles. Always be cautious and make sure you're visible to large vehicles. Question 52. True or false? When driving under snowy or icy conditions, it's safe to use your cruise control. Answer. False. Cruise control can increase the risk of sliding in slippery conditions. Question 53. On a freeway, you should look farther ahead than you would on a city street. A. Because it takes a quarter mile to stop your vehicle completely. B. In order to see potential hazards early. C. Because it helps you keep up with traffic. Answer. B. In order to see potential hazards early. Greater speeds on freeways require more reaction time. Question 54. Before driving into an intersection after a stop, you should look. A. Straight ahead and to the left. B. Left and right only. C. Left, right, then left again. Answer. C. Left, right, then left again. This ensures comprehensive checking of potential oncoming traffic. Question 55. To prevent drowsy driving, you should A. Eat a big meal before driving. B. Drive late at night when there are fewer cars on the road. C. Take a short nap before driving if you feel tired. Answer. C. Take a short nap before driving if you feel tired. Driving drowsy is dangerous and can be as bad as driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Question 56. True or false? Seat belts are not necessary if you have airbags. Answer. False. Airbags and seat belts work together to provide the best protection in a crash. Question 57. If you approach a curve at the posted speed limit and feel your car beginning to skid, you should A. Brake hard. B. Slow down gradually. C. Accelerate out of the skid. Answer. B. Slow down gradually. Rapid changes can make skidding worse. Question 58. You are driving on a city street and see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights behind you. What should you do? A. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. B. Move into the left lane and drive slowly. C. Continue driving until you reach an intersection. Answer. A. Drive to the right edge of the road and stop. This allows the emergency vehicle to pass. Question 59. Which of the following is a symptom of carbon monoxide poisoning? A. A flushed face. B. Excessive perspiration. C. Throbbing headache. Answer. C. Throbbing headache. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless gas that can be deadly if inhaled. Question 60. When you see this sign, you must. Image displays a sign with a white horizontal line inside a red circle. A. Not enter the roadway. B. 
Stop completely and check for vehicles. C. Slow down and check for traffic. Answer. A. Not enter the roadway. The sign indicates a do not enter command, usually seen at wrong way entrances to highways or one way streets. Question 61. When you see a yield sign, you should A. Stop completely, then go when the way is clear. B. Slow or stop and give the right of way to traffic. C. Always insist on the right of way. Answer B. Slow or stop and give the right of way to traffic. Yielding ensures traffic flows smoothly and safely. Question 62. When you park on a hill facing uphill and there is a curb, you should turn your wheels. A. Toward the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Away from the curb. If the car rolls, it will roll into the curb which acts as a block. Question 63. True or false. Pedestrians have the right of way at all times. Answer. True. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians for safety reasons. Question 64. If your vehicle has a two-part safety belt system, you should A. Use only the lap belt B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts C. Use only the shoulder belt Answer B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. Both parts are needed for maximum protection. Question 65. When driving in traffic at night, it is most important to A. Drive slower than during the day B. Use your high beams. C. Always use your headlights. Answer. C. Always use your headlights. Proper illumination is vital for visibility at night. Question 66. If you are stopped at an intersection and the traffic light just turned green, you should A. Wait a moment and check for left and right before proceeding. B. Proceed immediately. C. Allow waiting vehicles to go first. Answer. A. Wait a moment and check for left and right before proceeding. Always ensure the path is clear. Question 67. If your car becomes disabled on the freeway, you should. A. Flag down another motorist for help. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled roadway and activate hazard lights. C. Try to fix your car on the freeway. Answer. B. Park with all four wheels off the traveled roadway and activate hazard lights. This reduces the risk of a collision. Question 68. True or false? Motorcycles have the same rights and responsibilities as other vehicles on the road. Answer. True. Every vehicle, regardless of size, should respect the rules of the road. Question 69. You should not start across an intersection if you know you will block the intersection when the light turns red. A. Unless you enter the intersection on a green light. B. Under any circumstances. C. Unless it is an emergency. Answer. B. Under any circumstances. Blocking intersections can lead to gridlock and is unsafe. Question 70. When driving in fog or mist, never put your headlights on high beam because A. Vehicles behind you can't see you B. Approaching vehicles might not see you C. The light will reflect back into your eyes Answer C. The light will reflect back into your eyes High beams in fog reflect light back and reduce visibility Question 71 When parking parallel, you should be within Blank. Inches from the curb. A. 12 inches. B. 18 inches. C. 24 inches. Answer. B. 18 inches. This distance ensures that the vehicle is safely off the road while allowing enough room for other vehicles. Question 72. True or false? You can legally block an intersection during rush hour traffic. Answer. False. Blocking an intersection disrupts traffic flow and can lead to accidents. Question 73. 
when driving in adverse conditions, the proper speed to travel is A. The posted speed limit B. 5 to 10 miles per hour under the speed limit C. Only as fast as is safe to drive Answer C. Only as fast as is safe to drive Always adjust your speed based on road conditions. Question 74. When a child pedestrian is about to cross the street, you should A. Wait for the child to start crossing before you go. B. Speed up and cross before the child does. C. Stop and yield the right of way to the child. Answer C. Stop and yield the right of way to the child. Always prioritize pedestrian safety, especially for children. Question 75. If your car goes into water, you should A. Wait in the vehicle and call for help. B. Immediately try to swim to the surface. C. Try to get out of the car as soon as possible. Answer. C. Try to get out of the car as soon as possible. Waiting in a sinking vehicle is dangerous. Question 76. True or false? When a school bus is stopped on the road and its red lights are flashing, drivers on both sides of the road must stop. Answer. True. This law ensures the safety of children getting on or off the bus. Question 77. If you want to park downhill and there is no curb, which way do you turn your front wheels? A. Towards the road. B. Parallel to the road. C. Away from the road. Answer. A. Towards the road. This way, if your vehicle rolls, it will move away from the center of the road. Question 78. Before backing up your vehicle, you should A. Rely on your mirrors to see if it is clear to proceed. B. Turn your head and look through the rear window. C. Open your door to see if it is clear to proceed. Answer. B. Turn your head and look through the rear window. Mirrors have blind spots, so physically checking is safer. Question 79. True or false? If an oncoming vehicle has its high beams on, which make it hard to see the road ahead, you should look toward the right edge of your lane. Answer. True. Looking towards the right edge helps avoid being blinded by the high beams. Question 80. When driving in rainy weather, you should A. Turn on your parking lights only B. Use cruise control for a smooth drive C. Turn on your headlights, even in light rain Answer C. Turn on your headlights, even in light rain This increases visibility to other drivers 